Three, two, one. What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is on the electric boards. Got Matt back there on the one that I've abused for a very long time. Dude, it's cold, bro. A lot of you guys might be wondering why I have a brand new one and uh, why I don't just ride the old one all the time. So they wanted the old one back so they could take a look at what things have happened to it over the course of all the abuse I've given to it. So I'm gonna insert a couple of clips if you haven't already watched the previous videos of me riding this thing underwater, jumping at skate parks, basically anything and everything under the sun except for a speed test, which a speed test is something we're gonna be doing today. I'd like to try to find a cop. If I could find a cop today that is willing to speed check me on the highway without giving me a ticket, I'd be stoked. Even if you get a ticket, that'd be pretty cool. You get a ticket on an electric skateboard. <laughs> it actually breaks really good. All right, so this one right here has a lot of abuse, a lot of water abuse as well. Um, yep, it still runs pretty good. So everything is pretty dialed on this thing, except for the fact that the grip tape, I had to peel off in order to open this up and let it air out. Um, still runs like a champ. This one, brand new. Just need to recalibrate it, update the app, and I have to make sure everything's up to my likings from the previous board. Cruising! Matt's just scared to go fast, that's all it is. <laughs> what happened? Did it die? Yeah. Back strong enough? Yeah. So Matt's disconnected. He's holding on to my back right now. Hold up, slow down. <laughs> I got a bump. My back is in a, still is not 100%. But we're going to be cruising right now. Why you got to be on this side, Matt? Uh-oh. -uh. way I grab the back. What are you doing? <laughs> I lost you. Gun it. Don't gun it. Just in case anybody's wondering if this thing has any towing capabilities. Matt's battery died, so uh, it could tow his 250 pound body on a skateboard. Towing him going 20 miles an hour, guys. I wish you guys could like see that. Oh, here's the telltale, guys. Cobblestone. Not sure if this is even possible. I'm gonna send it though. Oh my God. That's pretty amazing. Alright guys, the boards are all charged up. I just got done doing a live feed on YouTube. So if you guys do like live feeds, subscribe to my channel. I try to do them as much as I can. I try to do at least two a week. So. It could be ranging from fixing my bike or playing video games or just talking to you guys and answering questions. So the board is all charged up. We're gonna do this hill climb and a speed test, a real speed test. Yo, I know you guys saw that. I zoomed in so you guys get a better perspective of it. I was getting this 360 camera ready so I can have it at the beginning part of the race to show you guys us starting off. And this camera is rolling and Matt decides to take my board down there which I have the reverse function set up as braking on mine. So when you slam it on, it just shoots straight backwards and he took it. How you feeling Matt? Dude, I'm hurting pretty bad, honestly. <laughs> I took it straight to the hip, dude. That's not gonna hold you back from today's race though, right? It's gonna, you know, Hurt me a little bit, but I'm still gonna win, probably not. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? What happened? Matt's gonna hop on 
this board, even though he just fell on it. Uh, he's going to stay on level 4. I'm going to stay on level 4. We're going to see if it is our body weight or the boards being one brand new and one not brand new. There you go, Matt. Oh, mine's laggy. Yeah, that board's really laggy. Ah! Photo finish! We, uh, we got the boards somewhat charged up. They're about 85 and 95%. We're gonna walk them to the hill so we have an even amount of juice between the two of us. So we're gonna transition from this camera to the Rilo 360 camera on a really long selfie stick pole. And uh, we're gonna transition to that now. Pretty steep. I think we got this. Oh, Matt already gave up. <laughs> We're good, guys. We are traveling about 10 miles an hour up this bad boy. It's pretty long. Gotta keep my eyes on the ground. All right, so we did make it up that hill. Matt, not so much. His hip is still really bothering him, but that isn't the end of the video. We have one last thing. This was heavily requested in previous videos, a drop test. Now, X-Way, if you're watching this, which I know you are, I know you didn't say what condition this board should be in when I'm returning it to you. So we're not just gonna do like a little drop test. This is our drop test. Approximately 60 feet from up here all the way down to here. Now we have a free and clear trail. I'm gonna have one camera set up from up there, Matt's gonna have one, a chest mount on him as he's dropping it. I'm gonna have one set up in my hands, filming it down, and I'm gonna have one set up on the ground to get a slow-mo effect of it bouncing. So this right here would be the final test to test out the strength and durability of these trucks and the overall board. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I got the drone up in the air. It's gonna be a different angle. Matt's got the Rilo on him, and uh, I got a slow-mo view propped up, so this should be pretty good. Here we go. Two, one. Three, two, one. Ooh. Dude, it landed perfect. Let's see if it survived. So I hear a couple of the bearings are crushed up. I do see the back trucks are kind of bent. Yeah. That one right there looks pretty bent. You give me another one? Yes. Yeah. All right, last one. So while Matt gets back up there, I thought to myself, a lot of people aren't really gonna be dropping their boards on the wheels. The boards are kind of gonna flail everywhere and they might just land however they land. So with that being said, <laughs> I think that uh, we should have a real natural board fall. Not just a placed out and it just drops. We're gonna just, Matt's just gonna toss it in the air and we're just gonna see what happens. What do you think of that idea, Matt? Yeah, we're gonna let it go. It goes where it goes. All right, ready? You telling me, are we ready? Yeah, anybody coming? Nope. See we got here. Oh, that did it guys. The board itself seems to have held up, like the deck. I'm not too sure about the rest of the parts. We're gonna check it out real quick. Oh yeah, look how bent that is. You can and that's a crack. stress crack. That's a stress crack, I think, right? No, that is crack. It's that crack. broke. Step on it. Look at the back one. 
I will. Yeah, I'm gonna step on it in a second. But look at the back one. That plastic is covered. That separation is cracked. All right. Yeah. All I gotta say is this still rolls, guys. For, for those of you car guys that watch the channel, check out the camber. <laughs> check out that camber, guys. Eat your heart out, Honda. <laughs> Still rolls pretty good yeah. though. You know what the test is? We're gonna have to plug the charger into it and then see if it turns back on. So since it died, we're gonna take it back to the car and uh, charge it back up and see if this thing still runs. It is a, uh, it's pretty beat up. I have to say so myself. Let's get this thing back to the car, charged up, and uh, see if this thing still rides all cambered out. Cambered out for all you Honda folk. All right guys, I'm not too sure if this is gonna work. I mean, we already saw the wheels move, but this is gonna be uh, pretty sketchy. I might go down like you, Matt. Please. Fifteen miles an hour, seventeen, eighteen. Look, guys, we're not playing either. This is the good board right here. See, that's that's a good brand new one. He's on the old one. Oh, 20. Dang, you should have got the bird on your arm while you're riding the board. <laughs> that would have been pretty amazing. Hey guys, this is pretty amazing. This thing still runs, running strong. I got up to 20 miles an hour, not enough space to go up to 25, and it got pretty sketchy. But overall story, this thing still runs. If you guys are into the X-Way X1, hit the link in the description. If you like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm back. Okay. <laughs>